Today, I'm going to show you how you can start your own software as a service or SaaS, which means you're gonna create an app that people are going to pay you to gain access to. And this actually requires no coding, no technical abilities. You don't have to hire any developers. All you're going to do is use natural language inside this AI chatbot I'm going to show you, and it's going to produce for you an app that you can then sell. And as someone with zero coding experience, I'm honestly blown away that I was able to create something like this in just a matter of minutes. So in this video, I'll show you step-by-step step exactly how to do it. So what we're looking at right here is called Deep Agent. And if you wanna follow along with me, you can click on the link in the description of this video that will allow you to sign up and actually use Deep Agent. And you can follow along as I'm showing you how to use it. Now, this is probably one of the most impressive AI tools I've tested in a really long time. They are the sponsor of today's video. However, they are allowing me to give my honest feedback and my honest review on what I think of Deep Agent specifically for creating these SaaS products. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And right away, I'll say that one thing I really love about this tool is how easy it is to use. So when you sign up, you're gonna get access to this as well. It's called Chat LLM. This is just like a regular chat bot. You see, I asked it a question in here and it gave me an answer. And this actually works with all the major uh, providers like ChatGPT, like Claude, like Gemini, all of them inside of this one chat bot. But today we're looking at this feature right here, which is called Deep Agent. So if you click on this, that will open up a new tab where you can actually create these different apps. You can create websites, you can create presentations using nothing but natural language that you put into this prompt box right here. So you don't need to have any coding experience in order to do this. So let's start by asking it to build a, a simple task management app, something that you can put in your different reminders that you need done, different tasks that you need done, and we'll see what it produces for us. So I'm going to type in here, build a task management app where users can create, edit, and delete different tasks, include due dates, priority levels, and the ability to mark tasks as complete. And let's go ahead now and click on submit. And you see that the first thing it does is it's going to ask you some clarifying questions. It almost always does this. And this is really to make sure that you get the end product that you want, exactly what you want. So here are the four questions. Let me go ahead and answer these. Yes, I want users to be able to sign up and create their own account. And the priority levels should be high, medium, and low. Let's give the users the ability to organize their tasks into different projects. And let's not have any additional features yet. We can always add them later. All right, so look right here. You can see that it is now building out the task management web application. You see that that is in progress. We see it thinking, we see it working. So we're gonna give it a few minutes. We're gonna come back and see what it's able to produce. And boom, here is the result right here. You can see it gives you a preview of what the app looks like. But what I've done is I've gone ahead and actually deployed this. So if you click up here where it says deploy, this will enable you to actually set it up with its own domain. You can do a custom domain, you can set it up with that. I just use the one that's built into the tool just for convenience. So then I can click on this and this will actually bring me over to the app. So what I'll do is I'll actually sign up for an account with Taskflow, which is the name of my new task management app. So let's go ahead and set this up. And now that I have an account, I can actually sign into it. So let me go ahead and do that, sign in. And here is Taskflow. It looks really cool. So let's go ahead and try this out, see how well this works. I'll create a new task up here. I'll say, take, take out the trash. And I'll say, remember to take out the trash before trash day on Tuesday. And I'll make this one a low priority. It doesn't seem that important. And I'll just put it under the general. And I'll make this a due date of, let's say, Monday night. So I'll go ahead and create tasks there. We can see it's right there. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see what else we can do. So can we add a new project? Well, I'm not seeing actually a way to do that. Um, Oh, here we go, projects, new projects. So I was about to go back to Deep Agent and tell it we need a way to create projects, but I don't have to do that. So I can call this one work, give it a color, create project. Man, this is really, really cool. New task, maybe say record my next video about Deep Agent. This one is a high priority, put this under work. The due date is tomorrow, create task. That's really cool and it even organizes it. So the ones at the top are high priority, the 
close ones down here. We can see it by project. So if I just want to see my work projects, I can come right in here. Uh, I don't see a way to do that. So I would probably go back to Deep Agent and tell it, hey, I want to be able to filter by project. So I can only, if I wanted to, I could only see my work ones or only see my personal ones. And because there's no, there's not a way to do that right now, but I didn't actually tell Deep Agent that was something that I wanted. So I could just easily come back here and tell it in natural language right here. And then it would update it and actually make that one of the features. But I mean, as a first start, this is super impressive. I didn't give it that much information. Just very generally, I wanted a task management app and it was able to make this for me in just a few minutes. That's impressive. Now, before I show you what else I was able to make with Deep Agent, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That lets me know that you like content like this and I'll be sure to make more of it in the future. All right, now let me show you how I was able to create an entire social media app in a matter of minutes using Deep Agent. So I came into Deep Agent and asked it to build a social posting app where logged in users can post short text updates. They can see a feed of recent updates. They can like and comment. And I want it to be a very clean and minimal interface. So once I told it to do that, it of course asked me some of the clarifying questions and then it began its coding process, which you can see right here. Again, I'm not doing this. I'm not a coder. I don't know what any of this means, but it's all happening automatically. And here is the end result right here. You can see the exact app. It looks very clean. It's exactly what I looked for. And I'm just blown away that I was able to make this just with my imagination, putting in here exactly what I wanted. And this is fully functional. As another example, you can create really complicated business applications like complete CRMs that are used to track customers and track leads. So that's exactly what I did right here. I asked it to build out a CRM. I told it exactly what I wanted, you know, fields for things like name and email and phone number and the company and different tags and notes. And then of course, after the clarifying questions, it began its coding process once again, and then it made for me this right here, a beautiful looking CRM, very simple to use after you log in. You can see all of the contacts, how much you've made in deals. You can go ahead and add a contact in here as well. You can log any activity, like if you called the client and followed up with them and where they are in the sales pipeline. And let me just show you one more because I think this one is really cool. I actually had to build out entire marketplace for me. I called it Quick List. So this is, might be very similar to Craigslist, but people can come in here and list up their items for sale. They can purchase items. It's pretty impressive. And I, I'm just blown away at the huge variety of different SaaS products that Deep Agent can actually make for you. I think there's a ton of different applications that you can do with this. So who should actually use this? Well, first, if you're a small business owner and you just need some internal tools, but you don't wanna spend months or thousands of dollars on development, this is perfect. You can have this built out for you and never pay for it again. Or if you're an entrepreneur and you're looking to build an application or a web app or software that you can then sell as a service, this is a really smart way to get up and running really fast. Of course, there's a lot more that goes into building a successful SaaS company, and I'm definitely not promising that you're gonna be able to build a profitable product or an app with this. There's a lot of pieces you have to get right from having a good idea to the right marketing. But what this does do is it removes a tremendous hurdle. Hiring developers, even just to test out an idea, usually cost thousands of dollars. But now you can test out any idea in a matter of minutes for a tiny, fraction of that cost. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if the next big SaaS company is made in this way. So we just went from an idea to a working SaaS product in a matter of minutes using nothing but a natural language prompt. The fact that AI can now handle all of this development on its own is frankly incredible. Now, if you want to try this out for yourself, make sure to check it out at the link in the description down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.